news from around the region and from around the state. This is a Florida Focus News Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Veronica Cofre. A man is arrested during an attempted robbery. It happened early this morning at a speedway in Largo. A silent alarm alerted police and they surrounded the building. Officers saw the man inside armed with a knife. There were two employees inside the store. The robber pointed the knife at one employee and the other hid inside a freezer. When the robber left the store with the merchandise, police were already waiting for him outside. He was arrested for armed robbery. Florida's next Senate race isn't until 2018, but a new poll shows that Bill Nelson and Rick Scott are already tied. This is according to a statewide poll conducted by the University of North Florida. Pollsters found that 20% of voters are undecided. The faculty director of UNF's Public Opinion Research Lab predicts the Senate race will be close until Election Day. Fisher Price issues a massive recall on infant seats due to a fire hazard. Over 63,000 soothing motion seats were sold at Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, Amazon, and other stores nationwide. Fisher Price has received 36 reports of overheating and one report of fire. No injuries have been reported. You should stop using the seats and contact Fisher Price for a full refund. The public has voted. Brittany Barnett shows us the Leroy Selman Expressway winning design. The results for the renovations are in. The design for the 1.9 mile extension of the Lee Selman Expressway will have an estuary naturalistic design. The Hillsborough Expressway Authority asked the public for their top choice. 74% chose the estuary design. The authority's CEO said the new extension will both enhance the project and serve as a new landmark for the Tampa Bay region. The completion is expected in late 2020. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Brittany Barnett. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.